everyone. Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Today I'm going to be doing a 20 centimetre by 20 centimetre ceramic tile and I'm going to be doing a pearl pour but I'm not using metallic paints I'm using all opaque paints today um, just to see what I get with that and then I'm going to be doing a little balloon kissing into that to see the effect that we get. And I think I'm going to get something nice, but until I do it, I won't really know. So um, as I say, this is a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter ceramic tile. These are great for people to practice on when you've um, started out with your paint pouring and good for anyone else as well, because you can turn it into this lovely trivet. Um, so it's a piece of useful art. So I'm just going to be cleaning it with the isopropyl alcohol and a tissue and just give it a quick wipe over and that's all you need to do to prepare it simple as that they don't have to be a white tile either you can use colored tiles because your paint's going to go over it um so you know I've, I've used um yellow and blue and all sorts so it's fine so i'm going to start laying these colors down i will put all the colors in the description box below um, this first colour is the Montmartre Satin Turquoise. They're all mixed with Australian Flow Troll. So I'm just going to put a little circle in the middle there. The next colour is the Global Blue Lagoon. So I'm just randomly placing these colours down. This is the Mont oops, Montmartre Satin Viridian. And then I'm going to be putting down the Global Lilac. Followed by Araldo Di Piolo Pinky. Haven't used this one before. It's a lovely pink actually. Very opaque. I'm going to save the gold till last. Next colour I'm going to use is the Montmartre Satin Rose Matter which when I started paint pouring was my favourite colour. haven't used her really that much for a while. Okay, now I'm going to put a bit of gold, which is the Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold. And now I'll come over with a bit more colour. It's coming a bit off centre there. Whenever I start, I check the turntables on the level, but... I don't know, once you get the paint on there, it seems to throw it off a little bit, but that's all right. It's not going to make any difference with this whatsoever. So just do another round. It's always hard to know when you're doing the pearl pour how much um, paint to lay down. And just another round. Now we'll just... Bit of rose matter and a little bit of the gold okay now i'm just going to hit that with the heat tool just to burst any bubbles i think i've got enough paint on there so now i'm going to be adding the black paint which is just the araldo di paolo black and i've mixed it to a consistency where it runs straight back into the cup without any mound so it's almost the same consistency as a cell activator. So now I'm just going to gently pour that into the middle. Just slowly pouring it in so that I've got quite a bit because it's going to need to run over the top of all the paints. So I've put about that much and now I'm going to run to each corner and let that black run over. So I might get out of view for a second, sorry about that. I'll try and stay on for as long as I can and off, bring the weight back to the center. Then to come off the other side, weight back to the center. And then I'll take it to the other corner to the center it's a bit of a guess how much paint 
to put on there. And then over to the other corner, last corner. I'll try and let you see what I'm doing. And I want to then, once that's gone over the edge there, which it just about is now, then I'll bring the weight back into the center again so that I get pearls on that corner as well. It's in the movement of the paint, the black over the top of the colors that creates the um, pearls. I'll just pop that down and then you can see all those pearls are starting to pop up beautifully just as they should. So I'll just take my uh, gloves off. And now I'll just hit that with the um, heat embossing tool just to burst any bubbles. And that also helps the cells to form too. So we'll see how quickly they form. It happens over the next few minutes. To start with, you think, oh, it's not going to happen. <laughs> but then they start forming. I can see the lilacs um, quite taking control again, and it was a bit thinner than the other paints. Um, so I think they're a bit thinner. They do tend to react more. slow to come up but we'll just um, let that go for a minute so I'll just um, turn the camera off for a few seconds and I'll come back in about 10 minutes uh, when those have had a chance to develop so we're back soon okay so I've waited for probably five or seven minutes I should have timed it really um, a lot of not not a lot more coming up and I would have expected more than that to have been up um, by now so now I'm going to do my balloon kiss um, to bring the colours up in the middle here. So I've just got regular sized balloon that I've just blown up. Obviously didn't wipe it too well after the last lot. So now I'm just going to gently kiss into the middle and see what we get. Those colours should still be under there. So we'll just get the black for a second and then the colours should start coming through. Okay, I can see some forming here, so I'll just keep kissing. so pretty it's interesting how certain colors come through like the um, it looks like the blue lagoon and the lilac have come through probably more than anything else really I can't see the gold there I thought it would it's usually a bit of a bully I thought it would have come through more So they're very pretty. So I'll just um, do a few on the outer edges as well. Into the actual pearls. Not too many because I do like the pearls as well. That is super pretty. And it's a different effect to doing a um, drizzle swipe, because with the drizzle swipe, you get all the um, cells coming through. Whereas with this technique, you get those cells around the edge and then the black in the middle, and then you bring your little um, fairies or flowers up into the middle with the very black around them. Whereas if I'd done a swipe, I would have had the cells all over underneath. Of 
quite a different technique. And I'm loving it. Okay, I don't think I want any more fairies on there than that. I think some of these cells will continue to develop uh, and I will hit it with the heat tool one more time. I don't think I want to put any more on there. I'll just give it another blast. Okay, so what do you think of that, guys? I really love it. I love the um, fact that it's so dark and around each of those. And then you've got your cells around the edges. I think it's lovely. Okay, so I shall now bring you down for a close-up. Okay, so here we are for a close-up. So here's our lovely little um, curl paw balloon kiss. As you can see, we've got the pearls around the edge. And then it was very black and dark in the middle. I didn't get as many pearls as I had hoped for and that's fine. And then I've made my little balloon kisses to make my little fairies in the dark areas and also out towards the pearls. And they've created these beautiful little, if you can focus there, that's better. Beautiful little um, fairy shapes, but with the cells all around them. So that's quite different to when you normally do a balloon kiss. You don't usually get all those little cells forming. Look at this guy here. I mean, that's just gorgeous. And these ones where I've gone into the um, where the pearls are, they've sort of got elongated little wings or petals if you want it to be a flower. So they're a bit different again. So I love that, guys. I hope you do too, um, and that you've enjoyed seeing me do that one today. So we'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not too distant future. Until then, stay safe and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.